you want everybody to kind of go back to a default call, and that's what we're seeing right now. Crum going to get knocked down for the first time today. Sacked back on the 40-yard line, and that was Colgabolt again. And as we know, he replaced a really popular guy in Sean Chambers, who's a three-time team captain of that position. On the ground again, and that's Swen's first carry of the day. It's where you saw Swen at his best, just getting the defender on his back after contact. Williams keeping, and Williams spins in for the score. Touchdown, Wyoming. The coach bowl could draw up a drive and put it in the dictionary of Wyoming football. It would look like that. They're going to go empty, and a five-receiver look for this possession from the 20 for Crum. And he's going to take a deep shot, and he's got Cephas running free. Dante Cephas to the house. 80-yard touchdown. And both Holden and the safety Weber just allowed Cephas, the go-to big play guy, to run a scene in between both of those zone defenders and run right by him. Not literally a fist fight, but a physical type of game. Williams going to have to add lib here. And the golden flashes bring him down. That's going to officially be a sack. It's a loss of a yard and a good job up front. And they're flipping the formation, so Wyoming defensively will have a little bit more time on this play. Trips to the right. Good fake and a touchdown for Dustin Crum. Pause it. Kent State takes the lead on the touchdown run by the Mid-American Conference Player of the Year. Watch how long Crum holds that. Long time, and two defenders take one. Nobody's there to defend Crum. Hey, guys, let's let's highlight Sean Lewis. He's hard to miss over here on the sidelines. We got him before the game. He's He's got the beard game going on strong. Here oh, goes Bradford. That, that going on. Yeah, Bradford, the big run, and Bradford on his second carry nearly took it the distance. Down to the three. It's a 55-yard run. And the left tackle did more than flinch. Third down, Crum in trouble, and Crum is sacked back on the 19-yard line by Muma. 36-yard attempt, and the field goal attempt is good. Third down. Pressure, and another sack back on the 35 or 6-yard line. Yeah, and Coach Bull used the word perplexed to describe the inability to understand the inconsistencies of this football team. Third and two now for Wyoming. And the quarterback runs down the sidelines, Williams. And Williams will score. Just what Wyoming needed, a 50-yard run. This is a lot about quarterback design. That was a read, and you saw 33, Aiden Huntington chasing the running back. Williams bounces it outside, and Elvis Hines loses contain. Kent State by three. That fast-paced offense on the field, and here we go again. Cooper busts off the big one of 48 yards. They call it flash fast. Valaday and Swen both in the game now on second and short. Williams going to take a deep shot. Mayor's got it. Touchdown. See if you see any middle defender. The answer is you won't because of the run game. Those high safeties snap it, come back to your quarterback, but Crump, Crump thought it was going vertical. Crum on the move. Crum has room. Gets a block from Cephas, and there he goes. Inside the 20-yard line. And right in front of the official, so you certainly don't want to get called for a hold on a... From the 16, Crum going to run. Puts his shoulders down right into the safety. Isaac White, it will be first down. And has been ultra-productive for flash fast. Second down and goal. Crump fakes the toss, flips it to the right for the go-ahead touchdown. Jayshon Polk puts Kent State back in the lead. The touchdown will stand. He fakes the pitch, and then just a quick little flip. 
Williams on third down. Here comes the rush again. Second down and one. First down and more. There goes Williams again. Touchdown. This is a nifty little play. Watch where Valade ends up. Kicking out the end defender so that Levi Williams can step up inside. They go empty again. From the only man in the backfield. And he's brought down shy of the 50-yard line by Crawl. Valade is the tailback again out of the eye. Valade puts his shoulders down and scores. Touchdown, Wyoming. For Kent State in this game. The defense for Kent State is getting worn down. They're tired of it. By the quarterback, Crumpton. Runner throw. Crum gets out of the end zone, back to the two-yard line, and sacked again as the momentum clearly on Wyoming's side now. It's another sack, and that is Isaac White. They got to get to the 22, and they do on the draw play. Give it to Bradford, breaks a tackle. He's got the first down ahead of the 25-yard line. On the 30 with 23 seconds left in the third. They run it again, and Bradford, same result. He's got the first down across the 40-yard line. The winners will play for the national championship Monday, January 10th. Here's Wyoming's Levi Williams. Look at this. Down the sideline. Williams takes it the distance. Reed outside. Defensive end comes down inside. Richardson does a great job of not blocking him, but continuing outside. Becomes a lead blocker eventually for Levi Williams. And After leading at intermission. Here's Crum taking a deep shot for Johnson. And he's got it on the 21-yard line. And the Kent State team is back in business in the red zone. And the question is kind of... At the end, he landed somewhat awkwardly as he tried to. We'll see if we see Johnson again. This is a fake. Nice move, and Crum has him first and goal on the six. Crum flips it to the end zone, wide open, touchdown. It's at 42 30. This is a matter of they've had a hard time against Boise State on this field, but they have won here on the blue. Another big run on first down. There's Swen still going. Oh, Swen will not go down. Son Pope limped off the field, fell to his knees just a bit ago, was helped over to the injury tent. He is still in there being evaluated. And the Nikeem Johnson also helped off the field. He's been struggling to put pressure on that right leg. At these 0 of 2 this year from this distance. Did he get that one? Yep. Longest kick of the year for Hoyland. Levi Williams, who's rushed for 204 yards today, hands it off, and there's another huge hole. Here goes Trey Smith, and Trey Smith will score. Trey Smith with a 49-yard run. Well, Trey Smith had nine carries coming into today. I believe this is his third, and the third one's the closer, I think, in this game for sure. And he's one of those graduate players for Wyoming that we heard throughout the week that could, and it's that quarterback run game that was the difference in this famous Idaho Potato Bowl. But Crum and Kent State answer with Devontae Walker. One play, 78 yards. This is actual college football we're and seeing this, here today. This is really poor defense. Obviously, you want to stay as deep as the deepest, as wide as the widest. Congrats to the Cowboys of Wyoming on winning the famous Idaho Potato Bowl 52 to 38 on just an incredible performance today from Williams.
Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.